Hi, my name is Jamie. I'd like to thank you for taking some time to listen and learn how you can improve your health with Young Living Essential Oils. I'm going to be going over uh, what the essential oils are, how you can use them, and the oils that are included in this kit that you can see pictured here. So I'll start out with telling you a little bit about myself and how I got started with Young Living. So here's me and my family. I got started in March of 2013. And at the time, I had no idea the impact that the oils would end up making on my family's life. My youngest uh, was two at the time. His name is Eli. He had been born with a swallowing disorder. And this meant that all liquids that he ingested had to be thickened or else they would go into his lungs. So up until then, we kept trying different therapies. Uh, we were really far in debt. And we were having really, really slow improvement. So although I had just attended a class about the oils and I was super excited for all the things that I had seen that they could do, um, on top of my list was this problem with Eli. So we had three months before his next swallow test. So I took uh, two oils that I chose to try and, and work with this problem. Um, I applied them every night to the back and the front of his neck and also to the bottom of his feet. So while we're waiting over these three months, I. I have no way of knowing if the oils are helping or not. So when it's finally time for the test, I'm super excited. So at the end of the test, the doctor turns to me and says that he had had a completely normal swallow test. Now up until then, you know, we were having really, 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 really slow improvement. So I was hoping for improvement, but no way did I expect him to just say he was completely better. So I was like double shocked by the fact that he was perfectly fine now. Um, so the oils they literally changed my son's life, my family's life. Um, huge testimony for us to share. So this is really why I'm so passionate about sharing Young Living with you. So let's start out by going over uh, what an essential oil really is. An essential oil is the life-giving essence that's distilled from a plant. They're distilled from leaves and flowers, the root and the stem, and they even come from the bark of a tree. They carry oxygen and nutrients into the plant and they carry the waste out of the plant. It's basically the immune system of the plant. Essential oils are naturally antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antitumoral, and anti-inflammatory. You can think of an essential oil as basically the plant's blood. So it protects the plant and it can keep it healthy. And it's also been found to do the same for humans and animals. So you can actually use these on your animals as well as your family. So how do essential oils differ from herbs? You know, people seem to be more familiar with herbs, so I think this is a good question. An herb is the dried form of a plant. For an herb to work, it must be ingested, digested, and absorbed. So if you have any disrepair in your body, you're not going to be able to get all the benefits from the herb. An oil travels through the body. It can enter into your cells very quickly, regardless of if you have any disrepair or not. Essential oils are very powerful and very concentrated. One drop of peppermint oil is the same as drinking 24 cups of peppermint tea. So that just shows you right there how concentrated they are. Uh, there are 40 quintillion molecules in one drop of essential oil. That's enough to cover every cell in your body with 40,000 molecules. So I know it's kind of hard to even fathom. So essential oils are by no means new. They were mankind's very first medicine, and they were used in every ancient culture and religion for health and healing. They were reintroduced into modern medicine in the early 1900s, and there are over 200 biblical references to essential oils. So you might be wondering, you know, you see essential oils for sale at natural food stores and you wonder what the difference is between those and Young Living. Well, Young Living is the largest distiller of therapeutic grade essential oils in the world. And the therapeutic grade is kind of the big difference right there. Only 2% of essential oils in the whole world are considered therapeutic grade, which means that they can actually bring healing to your body. All the other 98% are basically just to make things smell nice. Um, Young Living owns their own organic farms on four different continents, and they have the seed to seal promise, which means that they do all the planting of the seeds, they cultivate the soil, and they distill using low temp and low pressure steam distillation. 
They also test all the oil and they bottle it. So every single step of the process is done by Young Living and every single batch of oil is tested both in-house and out-of-house to be sure that it meets all requirements for purity and potency. This ensures that every single batch contains all the constituents that are needed for these to have the healing properties. You have to have every single constituent in order for it to be able to heal. Um, you're also able to visit every single farm that Young Living owns and you can even take part in planting and harvesting. There's no other essential oil company out there that'll let you do this. Um, so you also wonder, how can you tell if the essential oil you have, maybe at home, is pure? So you, one of the ways is you can look, to look at your bottle and see if there's an expiration date on it. If there's an expiration date on it, then that means that it's adulterated. That means that it's had something added to it. So you don't want to use an oil that's been adulterated. You don't want to inhale it or digest it or put it on your skin. You can do all these things with Young Living oils. A pure essential oil never expires. Um, oils found in King Tut's tomb have the exact same constituents when tested today as they did back when he was alive. Uh, something else you can watch for is that your bottle may say to not take internally. So when you're breathing in an oil or you're just putting it on your skin, it's still going right into your system. So you're technically taking it internally. So how can you use Young Living essential oils? Young Living has pure essential oils. So you're able to use our oils topically. You can diffuse them or you can ingest them. Topically may mean like right on location if you have a pain or if your stomach is hurting or if you just have aches all over or you're ever in doubt of where to put it, you can just rub it on the bottom of your feet. There's nerve endings in the bottom of your feet that reach every single part of your body. So when you apply it to the bottom of your feet, it's the quickest way to get the oil circulating through your entire body and going to the location that it's needed most. You can inhale the oils from your hands or you can use them in a diffuser. There's a diffuser that comes along with this kit that we're talking about today. The diffuser kind of looks like a little mini humidifier. It's kind of how I think of it. It uses a cool mist so that it keeps the therapeutic properties of our oils. It disperses them into the air so that everyone can breathe them in and benefit from them. And it can also disinfect your air. Especially when people are sick, you know, you have all these things that are floating around in the air that's just catching it. Everyone else is then catching it and getting sick. So this will disinfect the air as well. Um, internally literally means that you can drop it straight on or under your tongue. You can mix it in a drink or in honey, or you can use it in a capsule. Now you can buy empty capsules from Young Living or just from your natural food store that you have. Keep in mind, though, that any time I talk about ingesting oils, that I'm only talking about doing this with Young Living essential oils. All right. Now that you have a little background on essential oils and how to use them, let's get started talking about the oils that come in the Everyday Essential Oil Kit. So we'll start with lavender. Lavender is one of the most versatile oils that there are. It's great for calming. It's great for ear infections. I've used this on multiple ear infections on my kids. And literally within hours, they, you know, they go from crying and in pain to all better. Um, you can use it, a lot of people use it for seasonal allergies. It's a huge help for seasonal allergies. Um, you can use it for high blood pressure, acne, eczema, scars, and stretch marks. When you're using it on a cut, it can speed up healing and reduce scarring. It also works good on burns, edema, restless leg syndrome, and insomnia. And these are just some of the most common uses. Um, as a side note, I do want to say that I only recommend Young Living Lavender for burns. Other brands may contain something called Lavendin. This can actually take a second degree burn and turn it into a third degree burn. So this is why it's super important that you know and you trust the company that you're getting your essential oils from. Um, something else lavender can help with is hives and bug bites. It's a natural antihistamine, so it helps to take away the itching and the swelling and makes your, I've seen like um, stings from bees that go down so quickly from lavender on them. It'll help prevent jet lag and it's also being used in senior living homes. It can help with balance and with dementia. So our next oil to go over is peppermint. 
Peppermint is one of my own personal favorites. I have IBS, which means that my stomach hurts a lot. And I've never found anything that's really helped it um, until I found peppermint. I just take a drop or two in a small glass of water and I drink it. And within minutes, my stomach is just back to normal. I am keep it in my purse with me for emergencies when I'm out. I just drop it straight on my tongue. <laughs> Works really fast. Uh, my kids even ask for peppermint water if they if their stomach is hurting because they know how quickly it can help. I've seen them literally, they drink it, and I've seen them immediately feel relief. Uh, peppermint is also great for reducing inflammation, clearing a stuffy nose, sinus infections, and nausea. A lot of women like it for hot flashes. They'll just make up a little spray bottle of water and a few drops of peppermint and spritz it on themselves. It's also great for headaches. You can rub it on the back of your neck and behind your ears. It can help to relieve itchy skin or eczema, and you can use it on cold sores. Peppermint is very strong, and it has an icy hot feeling. So you may prefer to dilute it with a carrier oil if you're not a fan of the icy hot feeling. A carrier oil is a fatty oil, like vegetable oil or olive oil, or my favorite that a lot of people use is coconut oil. It slows down the absorption of the essential oil, and this can also make it easier for you to spread over a large area of your body if you need to. So if you use peppermint oil directly on your face, like if you have a sinus infection or something and you're putting it directly over your sinuses, I would probably say to dilute it um, just so it can ease up on that feeling a little bit. Peppermint is also great for acid reflux and heartburn. Just drink a drop or two in the water just like I did for my upset stomach. Um, a quick safety note here, if you ever get an essential oil in your eye, first of all, m depending on the oil, it'll probably hurt a lot. But don't worry, you're not going to go blind and you're, it's not going to harm your eye. So go very quickly and get your carrier oil, put it all around your eye and over your eyelashes. And you just keep doing this until the pain, the burning goes away. Um, don't flush it out with water. Water and oil don't mix, so it'll actually make it worse and spread it further. So it might take, you know, five or ten minutes for your eye to feel all the way back to normal, but it'll be okay. I've done this before. <laughs> it was not fun, and you'll make sure that you don't do it again, but you'll be all right. So next, we're going to go over frankincense. This is one of the oils that I use for my son for a swallowing disorder. It's one of the most talked about essential oils of the Bible. It's also one of the three items the three wise men brought to Jesus when he was born. In that time, it was valued even more than gold. You can also go to PubMed, and you can read over 250 published scientific studies that are done on just frankincense alone. Uh, frankincense is great for depression and anxiety, inflammation and respiratory issues. Anytime my kids I know have you know any sort of respiratory thing going on and I'm having some trouble getting it to completely go away, I usually add a frankincense to their chest, and that kind of kicks it. Um, one of its most well-known uses is its ability to combat cancer. Frankincense has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, which no medication can do. Frankincense is also very helpful in stopping and preventing seizures. I have a friend that uses it for her son's seizures and has had great success with it helping them. Frankincense has the ability to actually enter a cancer cell. It can eat the cancer from the inside out. So all essential oils are able to tell the difference between a good cell and a bad cell. So they only go in and they kill the bad cells and they leave all the good cells alone. So treatments like chemotherapy, they don't have a distinction like that. So they go in and they just kill all the cells and then they leave, leave our body in a weakened state. On PubMed, you can also search here about frankincense and cancer studies and you'll find 46 articles on different cancers it's helped with. Here is a picture of a brain tumor, and this is after only 70 days of using frankincense. You can just see it's gone. Our next oil is Valor. Valor is nicknamed the chiropractor in a bottle. It was originally formulated by Gary Young for his wife to help her scoliosis. It's, um, it's actually able to help the, sign, the spine self-correct its alignments. So anytime that my back hurts or if I like slept on my neck wrong at night or something, I put Valor all over my neck or all over my back and it makes a huge difference really fast. The smell of Valor is really calming and I also know that it's helped some people with insomnia and to reduce anxiety. 
I know some people that have actually gotten off their anti-anxiety meds by using Valor as well. So I like to rub it on my shoulders and then across my, across my pillow with my hand at night too if, if you need some help falling asleep. It works great to relax you. Our next oil is Thieves. Thieves is a blend of cinnamon, clove, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. This is an oil that we use at our house every single day. I have cinnamon in it. It is considered a hot oil. So all oils, even a hot oil, you can apply them directly under your feet without diluting them. But if you're going to put a hot oil like something like this um, anywhere else that's more sensitive skin, I would say to dilute it just to be safe. Um, if you ever put on an oil and it does burn and you aren't expecting it, you can always add your carrier oil to dilute it right then and it will immediately take away that burn. So let's start out with uh, the background story of how Thieves got its name. So a mysterious band of men in 15th century France began rubbing their bodies down with essential plant oils and going out into the night during the worst plague in history known as the Black Plague. The men were discovered robbing the possessions of their fellow men and women in villages who were dying of the plague. The band of thieves did not get the plague and finally confessed that they came from a long family line of apothecaries, spice, and oil traders. They would rub certain spices and oils all over their body that they knew were antiviral and antibacterial and that would protect them. So their formula of precious oils was posted in the town square and this was the beginning of the end of the Black Plague. So we fast forward now to the 21st century and this formula is recreated in our blend that we call Thieves. So this becomes the number one defense for modern day plagues, viruses, and bacteria. My family does not get the flu shot. We use this instead. So every night I take a couple drops, rub it on the bottoms of our feet, and I basically just work this into our bedroom routine so that we don't forget. So we use this as preventative, and then if someone does get sick, we just use it more often. So we apply it to the bottom of our feet, you know, maybe every 20 to 60 minutes, as often as we can remember to, and we diffuse it. And for the older people, we also take it in capsules. This chart shows just how quickly that Thieves is able to kill airborne bacteria. So in only 12 minutes, it goes from almost 10,000 colony forming units in the air down to almost zero. So this shows what a big difference that using your diffuser in your house can make when there's a bunch of sick people in there. So how many times have you been to the doctor they tell you that you have the flu and that you just have to wait because antibiotics don't work on a virus. Well, not anymore. Thieves is able to fight viruses. So a virus lives inside of the cell and bacteria grows on the outside of a cell. Antibiotics are not able to penetrate the cell wall. So this is why they don't work on a virus. Essential oils are lipid soluble. This means that they're able to go in and penetrate the cell walls and go inside the cell. So they go inside the cell and they kill the virus. So Thieves is great for strep throat, staph, MRSA, E. coli, <coughs> excuse me, black mold, flu, candida, sore throats, gum disease, teething, the clove that's in Thieves will actually numb the gums and help with teething, cold sores, canker sores, all kinds of things. Thieves is actually so powerful that they have an entire Thieves line of products. So they also have a household cleaner, uh, they have a toothpaste and dental floss, a mouthwash, a hand soap, hand sanitizer. And they also have uh, spray, wipes, and they also have sore throat lozenges that are infused with the thieves. Our next oil to go over is lemon. Lemon is great for detoxing the body. You can drink it in your water. Uh, it's also very antibacterial. And it's another one that has numerous studies that are done on its ability to combat tumors. It's um, very helpful with acne. It actually turned out to be my favorite one for acne. Um, it can help with age spots by applying it just directly on where the spot is. And when you apply it topically, you want to be sure that if it's going to be an area of, of skin that might be exposed to sun, that you don't go out into the sun for a while. 
I just make it a habit whenever I use it to put it on at night so that I know it won't be out in the sun. Uh, lemon comes from the rind of the lemon rather than the juice in, or the um, fruit inside of it. So the rind is made so that it attracts the sun so that the lemon can grow and ripen. This means that your lemon oil will attract the sun also. So it's best to avoid the sun for, I think they say, you know, like at least six hours after you apply it. Um, if you're just drinking it in your water or putting it on the bottom of your feet, then you don't have to worry about this. It is okay to just be in your system and in the sun. So adding a couple drops of lemon into your water is a great way to just detox your body of all the bad things that you encounter each day. And it can also help you lose weight. Uh, when you drink an essential oil in your water, especially a citrus oil, you want to make sure that you use glass or stainless steel only. The oils actually eat up toxins and petrochemicals. So this is part of the way it helps you to lose weight because it goes in and it eats all those bad things. But you also don't want it to be eating up your cup or to be leaching out these toxins into the water that you're drinking. So that's why you use glass or stainless steel. So this might also make you wonder, how can you drink it? That sounds like it does scary things. <laughs> but the oils are the living essence of the plant. So they're actually intelligent and they can tell the difference between good and bad. So they always work only to bring the body into balance. So you don't have to worry, it will, it will only go in and eat the bad things in your body. It'll leave all the good things alone. Lemon is also good for heartburn and acid reflux, just like peppermint is. Uh, when my husband complains, I just put a drop or two of the lemon and peppermint in water and have him drink it. You may think of lemon as being acidic, wonder how it could help with acid reflux. But because it comes from the, the rind of the lemon, it's actually not acidic at all. So this also means that it won't harm the enamel of your teeth if you drink it every day. Next is purification. Purification is a great antiseptic, antibiotic, antifungal, and sanitizer. It repels bugs, and you can actually use it to make your own natural and safe bug spray. It will also neutralize poisonous venom from insect bites, spiders, bee and wasp stings, snakes, and scorpions. So if you have a bug bite, it can help to clean the bite, and it can also stop itching. Uh, purification is great to clean wounds and cuts. So I basically use it instead of alcohol or peroxide when someone gets hurt. I use this instead. That's another one that's good for acne and also really good for pink eye and ear infections. So if you have pink eye, you would want to put it around your eyes raccoon style. So kind of along the bony part that you can feel around your eyes, not actually in your eye. And for an ear infection, I use lavender and purification together. I don't drop them directly in the ear, but I rub them on the back of the ear where it meets your head and down along the jaw uh, line that goes right underneath your ear. Uh, purification can also help with coughs. When my kids have coughs, I'll rub it on their chest and I'll put it in the diffuser. It's also really good to get rid of um, odors as well. So you can put it in stinky shoes. Or I've also done, you know, sometimes you get that mildewy smell in your vents in your car. So I've done where I've sprayed it into there and it totally gets rid of that mildewy smell. Uh, you can also put it in a can of paint and it'll get rid of the odor. So our next oil is Panaway. Panaway is a great pain reliever. It reduces swelling and accelerates healing. It can help with things like arthritis, a sprain, a muscle spasm or a cramp, and also bruising. Um, it also increases circulation, which is part of how it can help with bruising. Um, it can also help heal a broken bone. And a lot of people who have had just amazing fast recovery on broken bones that have used Panaway. Next is Peace and Calming. Peace and Calming was originally created to help children with ADD or ADHD. It helps to calm them. It's also good in relieving anxiety and insomnia. So a lot of people that I know that come to me with insomnia, I tell them that they should diffuse Peace and Calming and Lavender together at night. And that seems to just be a huge hit with a lot of people that are having sleeping problems. Peace and Calming is also an oil that will help with restless leg syndrome. So you can just rub it on the back of your knees. And I've done this myself. It works really quick. Plus you smell nice. Next is Joy. Joy is an oil that does just that. It promotes the feeling of joy. It can elevate your mood. can help with depression. 
relieve tension, lower blood pressure, inspire romance, and help to calm. Some women I know like to wear joy as a perfume. <clears throat> Our next oil and last is Stress Away. Stress Away is one that a lot of people use rubbed on their shoulders or their neck or even on their wrist. It has a really nice vanilla and lime frag fragrance, which is really calming and can help reduce anxiety and tension. It can elevate your mood and aid in depression. All right, so that covers all the oils that come in the Everyday Oil Kit. We've only touched on a fraction of the uses that these oils can cover. You can see how this kit can impact your health in all kinds of ways. So the kit is $150 plus tax and shipping. With it, you get 11 essential oils, a diffuser, which itself retails for $99. You get two samples of Young Living's antioxidant drink called Ningxia Red, 10 sample packets of little oils that you can give to family and friends. Uh, you get a rollerball top that you can attach to any of the oils. And for everyone that joins my team, I provide a quick reference guide when you get this kit. So you can look up almost anything in there and it'll tell you which oil to use and how to use it. So when you purchase this kit, you are considered a member with Young Living. This means that you get a 24% discount on all products that they offer and you'll have your own login to their website. While you can order everything yourself with your login, I also just wanna make sure that you know that you'll have my full support via phone or email or text or Facebook. So I love helping and I encourage questions. Um, so to remain a member and to keep your discount, you're only obligated to spend $50 a year. So for any reason you don't end up spending that 50, you just go inactive and there's no fee for going inactive. So. If you find yourself loving the oils and you're ordering them often, I can also tell you about a program that Young Living offers called Essential Rewards. You can use that to earn free products through them. So that concludes our webinar. And if you're listening to this live, we'll open it up for questions and I can help you get your kit ordered. If you're listening to this online and you're ready for your kit or you have more questions, you can contact me via the information that you see on this page. Look forward to hearing from you.